It's natural for us when we have an unplanned event, something happens, that we react. That's kind of human nature. In the airline industry, you're dealing with factors uh, that are uncontrollable weather, mechanical situations, and then of course the wild card is always people. JetBlue was a, was a company that was built on values. My role was the first customer service uh, vice president and uh, also in charge of airports and technology. A few months after we finished uh, taking our top 200 leaders through our principles of leadership, which was a new introduction, a new creation, we were actually faced with a power outage in the Northeast uh, United States. Our primary operating hub was out of uh, John, F John F. Kennedy Airport, uh, which was completely impacted. So for the course of pro almost 48 hours, we were operating without power. That put us into what, you, know, you may be familiar with the term, obviously VUCA. That put us into a VUCA environment. Um, our competitors basically shuttered uh, their operations and shut everything down and stopped. Uh, we were in a single terminal, so we, we kind of controlled our destiny, although we had no electricity. And so other than uh, emergency backup power, we had to decide, can we actually move forward? And so there are really kind of four antidotes or mitigators that we apply to, to VUCA, right? And so when you think about volatility, uh, what, what the antidote there was, was vision. So what is our vision? What are we here to do? What's our purpose? Our purpose was to bring humanity back to air travel. When you think about uncertainty, the antidote there would be um, understanding. How do you create understanding in a situation where you don't, you don't know where it's going to start, start, stop? It's really, it's really un undefined. And so as leaders, we need to check in on our people. We need to practice empathy. When you have uncertainty, one of the things you can be certain about is we're going to give you an update every X number of hours. You can count on that. We're going to, we're going to feed you information. Uh, when you think about complexity, there's multiple things going on. We've got customers we have to deal with. We've got the facility we have to deal with. We've got TSA who wants to leave and we're trying to have them stay so they can actually support security. How do you deal with all of those things? Well, you try to clarify and simplify, right? You cut out all of the, you cut out all the nice to do's and you get real clear about how do you get from point A to point B. We found that was really, that was one of the, the, the strongest areas for us that as a team we remained aligned because our people always knew safety was number one. We're not going to ever cut that corner. And then finally when you think about uh, ambiguity, how do, you, how do you move from ambiguity to agility? It flex around the obstacles, but never lose sight of the target. We were an organization built around those kinds of concepts, the values, those principles, and so when we were forced into this situation, everything kind of came to the forefront and we were able to, we were able to operate over the course of this two-day period, 90.6% of our flights, whereas our competitors shut down 100% of their flights. We would have affected 26,000 of our customers had we not operated. We're just like everybody else, but we really had to assess what is it we can actually do? How can we deliver on the promise that we built up? There's an old saying, best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, the second best time is today.